sometimes life is tough and you have no friends and you want to just play a game like Duck Duck Goose. Um, but like I said before, you have no friends. Um, so we're going to make a one person player game of Duck Duck Goose called Lonely Boy Duck Duck Goose. Um, it'll probably be the saddest thing we do all year. Uh, okay, so I just saved this as lonelyduckduck.py and basically what I want to do is I want to um, print off a message, duck, 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 duck. And it's going to keep going for a while, duck, duck. That should be in a loop over and over again. And then what's going to happen is it's going to say goose. And when it says goose, you'll run around the classroom or whatever. Um, so what do I want to do? The first thing I want to figure out is, is this a situation where I want to use um, a while true loop or a 4x in range um, loop? Now you could make this game either um, using either one of those. Um, I'm going to use a while true loop in this one uh, to practice using some of the breaks. Um, okay, the first thing I need to do is um, let's print a message. Tell them what our games are. Welcome to Lonely Duck Duck Goose. You're with friends. Now. It's a safe space. Okay. You are with friends. Yikes. Uh, okay. What I need to do is I need to import two things um, right off the bat. I'm going to import random. Uh, random is going to be an important idea um, that we'll need. And the other thing I want to do is I want to import time. So I want to import time. Now, time is going to allow us to go duck, wait, wait, duck, instead of just going like duck, 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 like immediately. Um, it's super fast. Um, we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, and random obviously is going to, the first time I wanted to say duck nine times, the next time seven, the next time 20, so on and so forth. Um, because if you're playing by yourself, really that's the only excitement you can have uh, is when it's going to go. Okay, so I'm going to create a number um, and I'm just going to call it uh, R for random number. Perfect. And it's going to be random dot rand int zero to just for testing it out, let's do uh, nine, right? And so what I want to do is I want to do a loop. And inside the loop, I'm basically going to, and I, like I said, I'm going to do a while true loop. So what's going to happen is it's going to check to see if my random number um, is a certain value. And if that random number is a certain value, then uh, it's going to basically break and say goose. Now there's so many different ways to do this. Um, the way that I'm going to do it is I'm actually going to put this random part inside the loop. So each time through the loop I'm going to uh, generate a new random number. And then I'm just going to say, because now I'm going to figure out what, what breaks it. If, if R is equal to, remember the double equal sign is kind of like, that's like a question like, is this equal to? So if that random R value is one, that's when I'm gonna break. And now how do I say if R, watch this one, exclamation point equal sign. I could use an else here, um, but I wanted to show you um, this input. Uh, it says if R exclamation point equal sign. What that means is this, if, if R does not equal one. So if R doesn't equal one, right, I want to print a simple message, duck, dot, dot, dot. If it does equal one, that's the time that I'm going to print goose. So imagine what our program's doing. The first time through, it picks a random number, and let's say it's an eight. It checks to see if it's a one. If it does, then we say goose. Otherwise, we say duck. So another random number, five. Is it one? It would say goose if it is, but it's not, so it says duck. Over and over and over again. And it's only a matter of time before this happens. Now watch what happens here. I run it, and it goes duck, 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 goose. It took me a couple of amount of times, um, 
But that wasn't very interactive, right? It didn't wait for me um, to you know, build the suspense, right? That's why I have this time thing. So every single time through the loop, I want to do, I want to do time dot sleep. And I'm going to put one in there, and that's going to be one second. Uh, you'll notice that we imported random, and then random has this attribute dot rand int where it can get you a ran, uh, random integer. Now there's a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of these. Uh, you should check them out. Uh, same thing with time. I'm doing time dot sleep, right? So time is the um, is the thing that I imported, and then sleep is one like thing that it can do. So watch how this one line of code is kind of changes things for us. Welcome, you're with friends now. Duck, duck, duck. It's building. When's it gonna go? It could take a long time. Oh, there it is. Goose. So exciting. And uh, nice. Works out pretty good. Um, there's lots of different ways you could do this. Um, I could also see us doing, uh, creating a random, creating this random uh, one out there and running a, I'm just gonna just show you what the loop would look like if you wanted to do a 4x in range. So 4x in range 0 to, uh, 0 to r. So it'll run it that many times. Um, and in that case, I would print, I would print duck that many times, um, in quotations, right? And then once I was outside of that loop, once it's ran r amount of times, outside of that loop, that's when I would print goose, right? So that'd be another way that you could do it with 4x in range, um, in range ones, okay?